More than two years ago, we released a pair of comprehensive videos that covered the development of all generations of high-speed trains in Germany and France. These videos unveiled the evolution and production of four ICE and TGV generations, showcasing their various iterations, appearances and performances. Since then, significant advancements have been made in this segment. Today, we present to you an update on the fifth generation of these trains, along with some additional insights. If you haven't seen our previous videos, we highly recommend watching them. You can find links in the description. Today's video, like the previous ones, is brought to you by the Harting Technology Group. Harting, a 100% family-owned German company, started in 1945. It has since evolved into a global leader in providing connectivity solutions for the three main lifelines of industrial technology, data, signals, and power. These connectivity solutions are integral to the production of high-speed trains. Harting's portfolio also includes customized solutions and products for railway systems, which is why they have decided to support Railways Explained. Interested in learning more? Harting will be at the InnoTrans Fair in Berlin from September 24th to 27th this year. Visit them in Hall 12, Stand 310. Check out the links in the description to learn more about this company and use the second link Harting provided to get a free ticket. Let's start with Germany where Deutsche Bahn has initiated tenders with Alstom and Siemens for the development and supply of its next generation of Intercity Express, ICE, high-speed train sets, branded as ICE5. These new train sets are set to enter service in the early 2030s, replacing older models like the ICE1 and ICE3 and expanding the fleet to meet increasing passenger demand. Deutsche Bahn has promised that the fifth-generation ICE train sets will establish new benchmarks in energy efficiency, reliability and passenger experience. These trains will feature innovative interior designs and numerous step-free doors to enhance accessibility for passengers with reduced mobility. The single-deck train sets will be 400 meters long, reaching speeds of at least 300 kilometers per hour and will accommodate around 940 passengers. They will be approved for both domestic use in Germany and cross-border services to Basel, Switzerland. An initial order for 33 train sets is planned, with two prototypes expected for delivery in 2031 for testing. The series-built train sets will follow between 2032 and 2034, with potential further orders extending until 2040. Meanwhile, Deutsche Bahn has introduced an advanced version of the ICE3, known as the ICE3 NEO. In response to the need for more trains on national and international high-speed routes, Deutsche Bahn ordered 30 new ICE high-speed trains worth 1 billion euros from Siemens Mobility in July 2020, with an option for an additional 60 trains. Unveiled in February 2022 at Siemens Berlin plant, the ICE3 NEO was built in a record-breaking 12 months. This train incorporates features from its predecessors to enhance passenger comfort, capacity and quality. It has 439 seats, including 99 in first class, 340 in second class, 16 in the onboard restaurant, 16 in the family section, and five in the toddler section. The ICE3 NEO travels at a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour and weighs 460 tons when empty, with a length of 400 meters in double traction. The first ICE3 NEO train entered passenger service in December 2022. It is used on high-speed lines between North Rhine-Westphalia and Frankfurt, continuing to Munich via Stuttgart. After receiving approval for Belgium and the Netherlands, international connections from Frankfurt to Amsterdam and Brussels will be added in the course of 2024. Over the next few years, the ICE3 NEO will gradually be integrated into the ICE core network. 
In February 2022, Deutsche Bahn signed a follow-up order with Siemens for 43 additional ICE-3 NEO trains worth approximately 1.5 billion euros. And in May 2023, another 17 trains worth 600 million euros, increasing the fleet to 90 trains. These trains will be gradually delivered between 2026 and 2029. This fleet expansion aligns with Deutsche Bahn's strategy to offer sustainable travel to more people, maintain punctuality, and provide better service. The increase in the fleet will also support the synchronized, timetable-based expansion of rail infrastructure, known as Deutschlandtakt, planned for 2030. Deutschlandtakt aims to provide reliable local, long-distance and freight rail connections across the country and systematically expand rail infrastructure. In France, since June 2023, fifth-generation rolling stock of TGV Inui, named as TGVM, has been undergoing tests on the national railway network. The TGVM is a high-speed passenger train designed and produced by Alstom and belongs to the Avelia Horizon family. It features a design like the TGV duplex, with bi-level carriages and a push-pull configuration with power cars at each end. The TGVM represents the culmination of a significant industrial and innovation project between SNCF Voyageurs and Alstom. The development of the TGVM began in 2015 when SNCF launched a program to procure a new generation of high-speed trains. The new trains needed to be at least 20% less expensive to purchase than their predecessors and have lower operating costs to offer more affordable tickets. In collaboration with the French government agency ADEME, Alstom formed the Speed Innov joint venture, which won the bid to develop the new trains in May 2016. By September 2016, SNCF and Alstom signed an agreement to design and build the new trains. In July 2018, SNCF placed an initial 2.7 billion euros order for 100 train sets. Production of the first body shells began in mid-2020 and dynamic testing started two years later. In August 2022, SNCF announced an additional order for 15 quad-current TGVM train sets for international services, bringing the total order value to nearly 3.5 billion euros. Ordered for 115 train sets will be rolled out over 10 years starting in 2025 with the first trains operating on the paris lyon marseille line. The TGVM is promoted as a fully French design and is part of Alstom's Avelia range, developed for the global high-speed rail market. It is a push-pull train set with power cars at both ends and between seven and nine bi-level passenger cars in an articulated arrangement. Compared to the previous generation TGV Euro Duplex, which had eight passenger cars and a total length of 200 meters, the TGVM has undergone significant design modifications. Each power car has been shortened by four meters, partly achieved by mounting traction motors directly to the bogies. By relocating the main transformers to the underframe, space has been freed for auxiliary equipment. Each passenger car has also been shortened by one meter, resulting in a nine-passenger car train with a total length of 202 meters, with the option for shorter formations. This design increases passenger capacity by 20%, allowing up to 740 passengers in the highest capacity configuration, up from 634 today. In terms of speed, the design speed of TGVM is 350 km per hour, but operational speed will be constrained to 320 km per hour. Among the TGVM's performance highlights is a regenerative braking energy system that reduces energy consumption by 20%. Additionally, 97% of the materials used are recyclable, and the use of eco-friendly materials results in a 37% lower carbon footprint compared to current trains. Maintenance costs are expected to decrease by 30% due to remote diagnostic systems that support predictive maintenance and optimized component designs that simplify maintenance procedures and extend intervals. 
The train's interior features a modular design, allowing for adaptable layouts to meet passenger needs and market trends. This includes adding luggage racks and converting first-class coaches into second-class within half a day. The train's windows are 37 centimeters longer than previous models, providing 10% more glass, while a smart air conditioning system ensures greater comfort with airflow through ceiling vents. The train's toilets have also been redesigned. Additionally, developers collaborated directly with wheelchair users throughout the design process, resulting in features that allow these passengers to move around the train independently, thanks to rotating and lifting platforms. As we came to the end of the video, we need to underline that both Germany and France are making significant strides in advancing their high-speed rail service with the introduction of new generations of ICE and TGV trains. These developments promise to enhance energy efficiency, passenger comfort and accessibility while reducing operating costs and environmental impact. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for newer videos and new updates from the railway industry. And if you are attending InnoTrans, don't miss the opportunity to visit the Harting Stand to learn more about their cutting-edge connectivity solutions.